Good morning, friends, and welcome to another edition of Wise World. Today's adventure takes us to Navajo Bridge, which is an amazing piece of Southwestern Americana. We're gonna try to show you some condors that are there. They've been reintroduced and been thriving here out of probably the most extensive program of rehabilitation in the world has been Navajo Bridge area. So we're gonna go take a look for the condors. We're gonna shoot down into the Colorado River and maybe go visit Lonely Dale Ranch and Lee's Ferry as well since we're in the area. So as always, sit back, enjoy, drive safe, and we'll see you on the road. Thank you for joining us. Taken from the NPS.gov website under Navajo Bridge, and I quote, In the 1870s, pioneers from Utah began to expand their settlements into northern Arizona. Nearly 600 miles, or 965 kilometers, of deep canyons along the Colorado River stood in their way. One of the only places a wagon could reach the river from both north and south was the mouth of Glen Canyon. Since the area was accessible and was a natural corridor between Utah and Arizona, a ferry was established there in 1873. Named after the first ferry operator, John D. Lee, Lee's Ferry became an important route for pioneers, settlers, and local traffic. In the 1920s, automobiles began using the ferry as a means to cross the Colorado River. It was recognized that it was time to find a safer, more equitable route for vehicles to cross. A bridge site was selected five miles or eight kilometers downriver at Marble Canyon. Construction began on the bridge in June of 1927. Remember, this was rugged and remote county and country and it was difficult to get men, materials, and equipment from one rib to the other, a distance of only 800 feet or 244 meters. The ferry was used to transport materials when possible. However, on June 7, 1928, the ferry sank in an accident which killed three men. Since a bridge known as Grand Canyon Bridge was nearing completion, the ferry was not replaced." End quote. Taken from the NPS.gov website, Navajo Bridge, and I quote, So for the next several months, no direct route existed between Utah and Arizona. People had to travel 800 miles, or 1,287 kilometers, around the canyon to reach the other side of the river. It was a historic day when, on January 12, 1929, the bridge was open to traffic. At the time, it was the highest steel bridge in the world and made traveling between Arizona and Utah much easier. No longer did travels have to contend with the moods of the mighty Colorado River at Lee's Ferry. The dedication of the bridge took place on June 14th through 15th, 1929. For such an isolated spot, it was an astounding event. Nearly 7,000 people and 1,217 automobiles arrived to the celebration. Speeches were given by governors of Arizona, New Mexico, and Utah, and by president of the Mormon Church. Bands, chorales, groups, and even Native American dancers were also part of the festivities. It was reported that airplanes flew underneath the bridge as prohibition was in effect, the bridge was christened with a bottle of ginger ale. The bridge was known as the Grand Canyon Bridge for five years following the dedication. But in 1934, at the great debate in the Arizona legislature, the official name was changed to Navajo Bridge. End quote. Hey, I'm gonna put you on a leash for a little bit, okay? So be cool. Every now and then we gotta put Whitey on a leash, but he doesn't like it much. Hey, you all right, buddy? Just for a minute. Let's 
So there's a couple beautiful picnic tables set up right above the river. Come take a look at this view though. It just gets better and better as you wind around the trail. Look at that construction. So the new bridge on the right, the old bridge on the left. And then we introduced the California condors out here. They've done extremely well. They used to nest right underneath these rafters here. Taken from the nps.gov website, the new bridge. And I quote, Navajo Bridge served the area well for 66 years. However, as automobiles and trucks became larger, wider, and heavier, the need for a stronger, wider bridge became evident. The historic bridge was only 18 feet wide and had a 40 ton limit. Approaches to the bridge on each side were dangerous with limited sight and oncoming traffic. Pedestrian safety was also a factor. Although pedestrians were not allowed on the bridge, the temptation was far too great. Over a 13 year period, 72 accidents occurred while approaching the bridge and eight were fatal. The time had come to replace the historic bridge. It was decided the new bridge would be built just below the existing bridge with new approaches on each side. The historic bridge would remain and serve as a pedestrian bridge and provide visitors with breathtaking view of the mighty Colorado River, 466 seven feet below or 142 meters. End quote. The new bridge construction history continued, and I quote, construction on the new bridge began on May of 1993. During construction, it was necessary to make sure no rocks fell into the river. There would be too great of danger for the rafters below on the Colorado River. A net was strung across the bridge to catch debris. All rocks for the footings was cut and hauled up to the rim. Additionally, it was necessary to remove rocks from the new approaches to the bridge. The rock was cut using a technique that made it appear natural and in places, it was stained to give it the weathered look. On May 2nd, 1995, two years after construction began, traffic was diverted onto the new Navajo Bridge. The dedication took place on September 14th, 1995. And once again, the ceremony attracted a large number of people. Speakers included representatives from state and local governments, national park services, Native American tribes, and the Arizona Department of Transportation. The new Navajo Bridge was christened with a bucket of Colorado River water." End quote. Thank you for joining us for another edition of Whitey's World. Today's adventure took us to the Navajo Bridge and Interpretive Center, located conveniently outside of Page, Arizona. Please take a look at our other videos that highlight the many adventures located near the wonderful city of Page, Arizona. We look forward to seeing our next adventure, and as always, plan ahead and drive safe.